I agree with the Dr. Kwachi. Reverend generation is very key. It's very, very, very key. And this is one of the snack that we suffered because of the rating agencies. Because when you look at the revenue that we generate currently, mm. it's about 13% of our GDP. Far, low, far below the sub-region uh, 18%. Mm. So if indeed we wanted to do a lot, because the demands of our people continue to increase. So when you are raising a revenue of 13% of the GDP, how much can you do? And 80% of this revenue is absorbed by debt servicing, principal and interest and government compensation. So what actually is left for us is about 20% to do capex. So clearly you can see that we have a challenge over there. For example, I'm, I'm aware that the Ghana Revenue Authority are going to take responsibility for the collection of property rates. And I agree with that. They are going to do this together with the assemblies and the land valuation board of the Lands Commission. Go to Tema West Municipal Assembly. Lashibi, Klagong, Bachuna. Yesterday I drove around that area. You look at these houses that is there. You go to, uh, what do you call it? Ayawasu West Wokon. Abilimpe, airports. Isligong, Jowulu. You have these flashy houses all over. Chado. You go to La Ladekoto Pon, Chado. Look at these houses. And because the assembly hasn't got the expertise, therefore sometimes they give it to private people to do uh, what they call uh, the collection for them. How are they valuing these properties? Are they giving the right valuation? No. You go to Adentam. Major. Adentam proper. And look at the surroundings. So it means that when GRA is giving this, of course, the law has given them the opportunity. So they do it in partnership. And that 30% that is given out to the private sector is given to GRA. A loan is going to rake in some money, both for the central government and for the local assembly as well. So we need to tackle some of these things so, so, so hard and to make sure we're able to raise a lot of revenue from there.